of Halloween Horror Nights here at Universal Studios 2024. Good news is they started this early, 20 minutes early. It is 106 degrees and there's some fire right here, so it's like 112 right now. We're actually we're in hell. It's literally. like literal hell. Uh, but the bad news is there's no scare actors out here doing the grand no, opening. We might be back like probably right at seven. Or we'll come back. Later. Yeah, yeah, we'll come back later tonight to get that started. But we're not gonna waste any time, Fresh Bake. No, first time ever on Fresh Bake. Yeah, proper. that's right. First time on Fresh Bake proper, you're gonna see Halloween Horror Nights. And so if that's not your cup of tea, uh, wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna do a rope drop video about Space Mountain. So I mean that might be something more your speed. Anyway, we're gonna get down to the lower lot and go check out those uh, the, the first bases down there. And I think we're gonna be catching up with Adam the Woo here in a second. And that uh, me, yep. Yeah, so let's go. We'll see you in the fog. Ah! Change of plans already. We're gonna start up here. Maybe what quiet place? Uh, we want to try to catch the 745 opening ceremony thing. We're an hour early ahead of that, so uh, let's get scared. Well, we have a minute. Let's get some uh, early predictions. What are you expecting from both Quiet Place and some of the other other houses? Okay, I've heard that this maze, Quiet Place, is like the, diff the most different out of all the mazes here because it's Quiet Place. So it's going to be a little different. It's going to be quiet. I don't know, you just got to find it's out. It's going to be quiet, Adam. It's not quiet. That's true. Uh, I'm expecting so this will be okay. I, I'm excited for this one. I like the first one. I didn't see two nor the new one I haven't seen anything yet. besides the first one, yeah. Um, but I'm very excited for Insidious. I've heard, I've heard Insidious is supposed to be pretty good. Uh, I'm expecting, I don't, I, I have very low expectations for Ghostbusters. But I heard that was good. Well, that's what I've heard, yeah, yeah. but uh, I didn't see the movie, so I, I feel like we're not going to get any Ditto. of the references. Ditto, I mean, we just saw the new one. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm a huge fan of Texas Chainsaw, but I feel like I'm going to be let down. That's been around for many years, and they, 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 yeah. they bring that one back, like, all the time. Um, there's like a kind of like an acid like wasteland. That's, yeah, that's the one down there by the mummy. I I've heard kind of the mixed about is that back one. And yeah, you know, for the quiet place. It's kind of loud. Kind of loud for a quiet place. <laughs> a little loud for a quiet place in here. Out of the blue, right by the speaker. Appetizer. That was good. That, that was, was good. So good. Uh, very well done. The, the production values were really good on that. Um, it was different, like she said. There's, but it was like a, kind of a one noter. It was it was the same creature over and over again, same kind of thing. So good, but I, I don't think it's gonna crack my top five. Right. Gonna head right into our next one, monstrous. Oh, we missed the guy. We, <laughs> that guy was cool. Great set. Oh, God. Oh, God. Father of nightmares. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, you got you. Oh, hey, it's part two. Yeah, I like it. It's actually fun. To yeah. Play. What's with the light? I kind of like it. Though. I know. I, it's so it's weird. It's more enjoyable than There's here. light. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, it's a bag of feet. There are monsters under the bed. Oh. The light in the middle. Yeah, that was, really that was very different. Really, really good. Great start. This is the luchador scare zone. officially on here in Hollywood Horror Night 2024. Oh, look at that.
guys are working late. They're building the Fast and Furious coaster here as <laughs> as uh, Horror Nights is happening. That's fantastic. What dedication. Down there somewhere, that's our next destination. It's right there at the bottom. Next up, the mummy. That's that that's that zombie desert thing going on down there. I don't even know what they call it. Oh man, it's happening down there. Oh, and Eternal Blood Lies first. That's that sounds kind of interesting. We go in this way. They didn't do this last year, right? I think they're gonna go through Jurassic World past the wedding reception tent, across the street, and into the old studio building, right? Yeah, it's where Frankenstein was filmed, Wolfman was filmed, The Mummy was filmed. All the Universal Monster movies were filmed in there. Dracula, the Dracula, Boris Karloff, in there. We're gonna be going in there. I've never been in that, that, that place before. That's the coolest thing we're gonna do all night. Yeah. That's the, uh, oh no, stage 12 back there. There it is. That's where we're heading. This is really cool. I don't think I've ever done anything like this before. If I recall, my favorite house from two years ago was the classic Monsters house. That's the house they did back down there where the mummy is. That house from two years ago is outstanding, so I'm hoping it's as good as that one was. The classic Monsters house. I was given this name by my father. Universal Studios. <laughs> so cool, actually. Part of, the, part of the best parts, or one of the best parts of doing these nights is that you get to go backstage often. So we're, that's the other side of that wall right there is Jurassic World, the queue. And this is the dig site. I forget what they call it. Oh, oh look at that. Look at oh, that. there's, oh my God. That's great. <laughs> Secrets for secrets revealed, guys. I'm shell shocked. 
for dead exposure next. Things are looking a little toxic. Yep. <laughs> So good. Whoa. I am very concerned. I am very concerned about what's about to happen. Away. I can't, I can't catch you in frame. I feel like I'm going to be in the minority on this one. I mean, I love the classic monsters, what we just did. Yeah. But the practical effects in that house right now are the best that we've seen so no, far. And the storyline and everything was very like yeah, yeah. mediocre, but some of the rooms I was like, wow. Yeah. That's it. Such that last neon green room. Yeah. That was sick. The, yeah, the, the colors, the light, yeah. um, the the blood of the floor. Yeah. It, that, that, was, that was really cool. That was like, uh oh, what happened? The monkey? Yeah, the monkey was cool. That was fun. That yeah. was good. I didn't get as scared there as I did at the classic monsters one, but the practical effects there on that one were pretty great. Here we go. Ready for the one that I have been most anticipating. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I am a product of the 80s. I grew up on 80s everything. My first horror films were slashers. Halloween, Friday, Texas Chainsaw. My favorite franchise is Halloween. I am a slasher guy. That is my vibe. Liz, on the other hand, Liz is like uh, insidious and paranormal activity, that kind of thing. But this is, that's why I'm most looking forward to this one to see. You know, how, uh, apparently they're going to represent every iteration of Leatherface here. It's going to be, it's Texas Chainsaw, but it's you know, focused on Leatherface, obviously. I, I'm afraid I'm going to be let down, but I don't know. We'll see. But uh, this is the one that I've been most anxious to see how they pull off. It's all the pages was done fashionable. Like I said, when did Texas Chainsaw feature a walking cow?
I like that. The Texas Chainsaw Festival. I again, I have a feeling I'm going to be uh, on the outside of this one. What do you think? If we didn't stop so many times, we'd be an awesome maze. Yeah, it was too but the full. the momentum, the momentum got a little back down there. It was too crowded in there. Yeah. So we couldn't, we, we, yeah, it got, it got a little but close. Theatrically, it was awesome. The props were amazing. The whole, yeah, I know, it was, it was a good time for sure. What is it? Uh, so that was obviously way better than the, the Halloween let down because Halloween was just setting up scenarios, but that was just blood and guts, man. That was blood and guts. That, you got what you were expecting out of the Texas Chainsaw House. But uh, that was still, that was I pretty like, amazing. But I also love those movies. So yeah, me too. Have a lot to do with them. Me too. Oh, I like them all. Even that last one that was kind of weird. Okay. You know? Oh yeah, the, the, one, uh, the one that had mountains in Texas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was actually pretty good, the last one. Last stop with the lower lot. The Weekend. Nightmare Trilogy. <laughs> was some kind of meaning <laughs> behind all that like with the eyeballs and the baby sure. and all that yeah I, I don't understand it I mean he's got an imagination the weekend does but I think he needs a therapist <laughs> I mean the weekend I, I love your voice I, I do love I love a lot of your music but 
I, you almost killed me with all of those lights in there. Dude, if, if he you, cut himself in half with a with a buzz saw and then gave birth to himself. Okay, if you have vertigo, right? Or, was that what was happening? He was giving birth to himself. Sure, but I mean, seriously, seriously, no. If you have vertigo, yeah. you get easily dizzy. Yeah. In Shroby life, do not do this. Well. I will say that regarding this, even though I don't I have no idea what just happened, it was extremely graphic. The most graphic one we've seen so far. Yeah. So if that's your thing, you'll enjoy this. Uh, you get physically ill like I do, do you not know? yeah. And I would also say that the production values were really, really high on that one too. Yeah, for sure. No, that's but again, yeah. but yeah, but it's still, I don't know if that is enough to overcome the weirdness of it all. Like if that's not your thing, you may not really enjoy it. But if you're a fan of the weekend, or if you're a fan of incredibly weird-ish, because that was incredibly weird-ish, <laughs> then give it a shot, man. Uh, last year it was Stranger Things Pizza. This year they got Leatherface Barbecue. I'm kind of down. I want to try that. No, I'm sure the meat is probably going to be of questionable origin. They really got us going all the way down here, don't they? Okay. I am at 10,000 steps. Dude, I don't even know what they call this lot. I guess we're going to the further next. Oh, they playing Tiny Tim? Yeah, I was going to say, I just heard Tim Tim Through the Tulips. Can you ever hear that song? Nope. The great thing about that is that it's creepy. It was creepy before it was in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? yeah, you're just thinking of that monster. Yeah. <laughs> the further is a dark realm filled with the tortured souls of the dead.
Oh my god, that was really, really fun. You didn't get a chance to talk about Insidious yet. What did you think? No. No? I'm sad about Insidious. I was really excited for it. I was hyped for it too, yeah. Yeah, but like we hit, we missed every cue. Watch Provost's. I know, right? <laughs> he, I could hear him the whole time, yeah. I mean, I, did, I had moments where I was like, yes, Insidious. Like, I was excited to see the Black Pride and the, and the lipstick yeah. came in and the other things, you know, in the mo most recent movie. But it sucks when you do hit, like, all, you don't hit the cues. Yeah. You don't get the scares. Right, you know? right. You're like a little late. Yeah, and it, it kind of bums you out a little bit. But yeah. overall, it was still really great. I, I did enjoy it. I wanted a little bit more from the first movie because like, that's like the staple of like all the Insidious movies, I feel like. But it was still great. Yeah. I waited going in thinking, because it's not going to be scary. You know, you're not going to be scared no. for Ghostbusters. It's not a scary movie. But it's not horror. But there's a moment. I mean, that was a lot of fun. So much fun. That's what... A uh, house should be because yeah. they really, they really did got kind of creative. That Slimer scene was great. Mm -hmm. With dude, the stuff they're doing with the proton packs, yeah, and how they were able to achieve Chris that Rick. effect. Hey. Uh, no, it, uh, how they were able to make it appear like they were, you know, uh, hitting it with the proton pack. That was fantastic. I, it was, I was, I didn't get any of the references from the new movie because no. I've seen it. Yeah, but we well, we, but we got old references. Oh my god, too. they had. Uh, uh, what you would call it? Um, well, Slimer, obviously. Yeah, Slimer. Uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow the Man. The Gatekeeper. The, yeah, the Gatekeeper. Well, I don't know which one he was. He was the Keymaster yeah, or the Gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah. It was either Rick Moranis or Sigourney Weaver. Yeah, scared. Awesome. Uh, but that was great. Yeah. Uh, we had the Ecto-1 crashing yeah. through. Janine's desk is out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, no, it was definitely some nice Easter eggs for yeah. like the classic Ghostbusters. Dude, if you're a, if you're a fan of the Ghostbusters franchise, you're gonna enjoy that house. 100%. Really. And yeah, it's and fun. It's it's fun. It's really, really, really fun. Maybe like that'll be like your you know your palette change when you're like did so many scary back to back go do Ghostbusters. Well, that's our last house, by the way. That's our last house. That's our last house. Done. I think it's like 10 o'clock. And I think I agree with you. I think that was my favorite house of the night, yeah. even though it wasn't scary at all. Yeah. That was probably my favorite house yeah. of the night. We have to do tram. That's, what well, that's right. We still have to do well, tram. What are we going to do with the whole group? Though? We're all yeah. here. But we're done with the houses. It well, was done. good this year. It was good. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Last stop of the night is Terror Tram. We have picked up a couple strays. Justin Scarred. Tyler. Is there anybody else? We're, we're hoping oh, Magic Journeys can come join us. Oh, did we get the yeah, did, did they get the message, the memo? I, I, I texted them. We almost had everyone together. Almost. We missed Ordinary Adventures. We were so close. They were to scheduled to be here I too. We were so close. For I don't know, a couple of years at least, Liz has been singularly focused on getting all of us in one shot. She wants a photo with everybody in one shot. We keep we keep getting this close. That's 
that's my friend Miguel and Janelle from the, the channel Magic Journeys. They're my friends. <laughs> Who said that? There we go. There's some more fans over there. There's some more over there. Another one right here. There's another one right here. Keep coming out. Let's go. <laughs> They're ready for us. <laughs>
is a wrap. That's for a wrap. fresh bake. We, the only thing we didn't get to do was Chucky and the Purge, but yeah. I mean, I think it's we're okay. Rapid, which we always try to do. Well, but that's not yeah. No, yeah, no, horror no, nights. No, no, no. no, it was um, it was pretty good this year. Yeah, yeah. I think last year was a little better, but this still year was still really good. You think last year was better? I think so. Really? I think overall I like the houses better this year. Uh, top house for you, Ghostbusters? Ghostbusters, I think, and the number two is I think Quiet Place. Really? That's my bottom house. Yeah. It was just the same monster over and I over know, again. I know, but the timing was, see, I'm all about timing. Uh, yeah. And timing was impeccable like that. They were exactly on cue. Yeah, you were hitting the cues. Yeah, they really were. But uh, I thought it was a little repetitive. Uh, but great night, lots of fun. It was, yeah, it was great fun. hanging out with our friends. We, we, got to, everyone we had almost everybody we here did tonight. Ordinary adventures. Ordinary Peter Kitcher. What happened? We could have been. <laughs> we could have done something. But yeah, it was great. So Miguel and Janelle, Allie and Justin, Justin Adam, and Alex, Natalie. Tyler, yeah, Adam, uh, even uh, uh, Tyler and Tyler and Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daphne, yeah. Amanda and Chris. Amanda and Chris. Yeah. It was a good night. Great night. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's Fresh with OE, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. If you like this show and want to show you support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Baked. If this show has been edited tightly, look for a complete, I'm going to show everything on the acoustic channel, a uh, complete tour of, the, of all the houses, every house, although we're showing all the houses here. Uh, it'll be uh, a much more in depth show on the Acoustic Channel Tours Party Daily, so look out for that. Otherwise, be safe out there, guys. Be kind to one another. Fresh bake. Fresh bake. Good night.